I get so dang cold when I'm fasting. It drives me nuts. Like I'll just be sitting there and just like, ah, doing jumping jacks, trying to get myself warm. I talk to so many people that get freezing when they fast. And then I talk to other people that say they've never experienced that issue. So it varies so widely. But the people that do get cold when they fast, they always tend to think that it's the fasting slowing down their metabolism and that's why they're getting cold. No, 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 not at all. In fact, it's quite the opposite. And when you understand the mechanism of action within the body and why you're getting cold, it's actually really, really cool. No pun intended. But you can understand that it's helping you and I also have a quick hack to help you get around that. Hey, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and then hit that little bell icon to turn on notifications. We literally have videos coming out just about every single day these days, all the time. We are the most comprehensive channel when it comes down to intermittent fasting and a pretty darn comprehensive channel with everything else health and keto related. After you watch this video, please check out my Thrive Market Fasting Box. So I've assembled foods that I think are great for breaking a fast or to eat during your fasting period in general, and I've assembled them into a Thrive grocery box. So Thrive's an online grocery store. So after you watch this video, you can head on over there and get the foods that I would recommend in a simple grocery box delivered right to your door. So check them out. Okay, so here's what's going on. Let me just lead right in with a study that was published in Nature Communications Journal in 2016. When you are fasting, what's happening is it's a migration, or should I say, sort of the fat in your body just developing properties of a different kind of fat. So what this study did is it took a look at fasted mice. Now they found that when these mice were fasting, the white adipose tissue, okay, and the normal belly fat, started taking on properties of visceral fat. Now at first that sounds really bad because you think visceral fat's unhealthy, why would we want that? But no, what's going on is the body's gonna preferentially burn that, okay? The body wants to burn visceral fat, and I'll talk more about that later, but the reason that you're getting cold is because normally when you're burning fat, fat has some what are called brown properties, brown fat properties, which means that they have specific proteins called uncoupling proteins that allow a specific generation of heat to occur from the mitochondria. So what that would mean is normally our fat emits a little bit of almost a vibration that generates some heat. So what's happening is our fat actually changes from a, an adipose tissue into a visceral tissue. And so what happens is it no longer has the ability to generate heat. So all it is doing is it's migrating that fat into a different kind of fat, which therefore makes it so we get cold. So this is likely a mechanism to ultimately conserve heat, okay? So basically what's going on is the body saying, well, I don't want to turn on this brown fat mechanism that generates heat because we want to keep the heat within the body. So in an effort to actually create more heat, we feel less heat. So does that make sense? What's happening is the fat is moving over to a different kind of fat and you're feeling the effects of the fat basically migrating over. Once it is in the visceral form and it's migrated to become a different kind of fat, fasting therefore burns that fat and it burns that fat six times faster. Yes, fasting burns six times as much visceral fat as other fat. So not only is fasting amazing for getting rid of the damaging, dangerous visceral fat, it's also powerful when it comes down to burning fat in the first place. So essentially the reason we're feeling cold is because the fat that would normally generate heat is getting turned into a fat that is getting burned for fuel instead. So pick your poison. Would you rather have some fat that makes you feel a little bit warm or would you rather have some fat that allows you to feel cold but goes away faster? Now this study was pretty interesting, but we can take it a step further by looking at some stuff that was published in scientific reports in 2018 surrounding the world of orexin. Okay, now orexin is a neurotransmitter and it's stimulated by specific neurons. Now what this study found was that when mice were fasting, if they had suppressed levels of orexin, they would end up having a lower body temperature while they were fasting. What does this really mean? It means that if you had less levels of orexin, you would get more cold. You would get colder while you fast. So they did this, they took mice that had suppressed levels of orexin and they took regular mice and they had them both fast. Well, the mice with low orexin got way colder. So what this tells us is that this neurotransmitter may play a big role in how our body temperature is when we fast. And again, it's a conservation mechanism, right? Because orexin is stimulated when we eat food. So when we eat food, normally orexin levels would elevate. Of course, we're fasting, so we're not stimulating orexin. Now, here's the interesting thing. 
Every single person has a different level of orexin producing neurons, which would exactly explain why some people get more cold than others. Because some people have enough orexin where it doesn't really bother them. But some people already have naturally low levels of orexin, so when they do fast, their temperature drops significantly. Now, how do you get around this? There's a cool hack. There's two real ways that you can stimulate orexin, okay? Through eating food, which you definitely can't do when you're fasting, but also caffeine does this. So coffee would be a great way to stimulate orexin because any kind of arousal or stimulation like that will generally stimulate some orexin. Okay, so coffee is gonna be twofold. You get a warm beverage, it's of course gonna warm you up, but then you get the orexin effect from the caffeine, which is going to make it so that those neurons are actually producing orexin, that neurotransmitter, which elevates your temperature or at least makes you immune to the hypothermic effect of fasting. So now we know that you're not losing your metabolism when you're fasting. No, you're burning fat and you're literally getting cold because your body is directing energy over to a different kind of fat to burn rather than directing energy to a fat to keep you warm. So I hope this debunks it and makes it so you can feel comfortable fasting and know that every time you're getting cold, you're actually doing yourself a service. As always, keep it locked in here on my channel. I'll see you in the next video.